Hey guys, welcome back to part two of our full affinity retouch. And uh, in this part, we are gonna be doing our dodging and burning as well as some small finishing touches. And um, let's just go ahead and get started. So uh, I have a little macro set up here called Curves DMB. I'm gonna click on that. And it's gonna give me two new adjustment layers, uh, a curve adjustment layer that looks like this and a curves adjustment layer that looks like that. And they're inverted, that, that's why nothing is happening. But when I paint over them with a white paint brush, then you can see the effect of my burn and my dodge. Um, setting up macros is pretty easy. Uh, I might make a video about that later, but it's pretty simple just to basically record you doing this. It took me maybe two minutes to record this thing. So now that I do this, I'm gonna group these together because for some reason uh, you can't record grouping things together for macros. So maybe that'll be fixed one day. I'm gonna group those together. We will call that D and B for dodge and burn. And we are going to start with my dodge layer. Uh, I'm gonna use a brush that has a low flow of 2%, 0% hardness, 100% opacity. And because, like I said earlier, this is a really uh, colorful, bright image, we can go a bit further than we normally would with it. So starting with the legs, I'm gonna just come down here and just start brightening up this middle part. Uh, maybe come down here and same here, like just grab this middle part with a light it would be hitting and and you probably can't see much that I'm doing but once I turn do the shoe make brighten these colors up maybe this once I turn it off then you can really see like what I've done I've added some cool like brightness in the legs um, gonna go over here to the skirt that's gonna make the colors really pop out a bit more especially on this blue part here yeah that's gonna look cool Alrighty, so we do that. And if you wanna see what you've done, you can hit Option or Alt and press on the layer and you can see this is white is where I've added uh, all the adjustments. Um, so the cool thing about doing it on a l adjustment layer, and I love that Affinity's adjustment layers already have masks built in so you don't have to add another mask. But the cool thing is that one, because I've adjusted the curves here, I know that I cannot go any brighter than this. So it's kind of got a built-in limiter. And also, if I wanted to take it more, I could say, you know what, let's, let's do it. I could bump it up more and really like give it some crazy kind of like effect. There we can see a big difference. We really kind of give it a cool glowing effect. And to be honest, that looks pretty cool, uh, but I'm not gonna take it that far just yet. Maybe, I mean, maybe a little bit, just bump it up a tad. So that's a really cool thing is that once you've laid down your the areas you wanna dodge or burn, you can then adjust later with the opacity slider or adjust the actual curve. So let's continue to do that. Let's go ahead and just add some highlights here on the shoulder, on the arm. This is just gonna give a bit more like three dimensionality to the image. Um, like so, this I can see there's a kind of cool highlight here. And the reason why I like to use the flow is I think it kind of creates a nice, gradients like you can kind of start small then like kind of like keep painting and get it brighter and brighter and brighter and brighter and it kind of you can kind of create nice like transitions uh, you can use the opacity instead whatever works for you this is just the way I like doing my uh, dodging and burning it's fine all right let's look at the face the face is already pretty much spot on I'm just gonna add some highlights to like the cheekbone here this dark area i'm going to just go over that a little bit uh the chin we're going to lighten that a little bit there's like a little darkness here this dark spot here uh we can add some highlights here add some highlights. you can just brighten up the eyes just a little bit i'm going pretty fast um maybe yeah i think this looks okay maybe the cheek here Maybe just lighten that a little bit. Uh, hair. And we're just gonna dodge over the hair like this. Just by adding this over the colored parts is gonna make the image pop a bit more, add some more color and some kind of cool, um, just make it pop for lack of a better word, I guess. All right, so let me go ahead and turn that off. And we say we've done off, on, off, on. That looks pretty cool. It looks pretty good to me. Just let me come here and just kind of even out this darkness and to get our skin looking really, nice and smooth and looks really cool. Okay, 
that looks pretty cool to me. Okay. Alrighty. And now let's go to our burn layer. Burn. All right. So same thing. Uh, this time I'm going to actually just go on the outside a little bit just to kind of like create a little bit more depth in the legs. Um, if we see, it's just, it's really subtle, but it just kind of um, adds some cool like depth uh, to the legs. Maybe just around here on the outside of the arm. Cool thing was this is this because the background's black. I don't have to worry about like my dodge spilling onto the background. Um, where if I had a lighter image, maybe you'd have to be careful about that. But here we don't. Okay, and the face maybe just like adding like almost like fake makeup here, just like doing that, going around the chin a little bit. It's gonna like, make the face look a bit smaller. And one thing I like to do is we'll go over the eyes. We'll go over kind of create, almost like making fake eyeliner. We'll kind of do like a fake eyeliner here. And then just over like this kind of like eye shadow, kind of just darken it up a little bit. And it just kind of gives the impression of a little bit darker makeup. Maybe we can kind of even out uh, this transition here. So we've got a nice, um, shadow on the nose. Now I can see that this little shadow is a bit too dark. We'll just lighten that a little bit. Um, lighten it. So, you know, I know you can work in order, but I kind of go back and forth. Uh, as I adjust things on the dodge, I might see, okay, I want to fix this in the burn, like this little light area here. I'm going to dodge that down so it's not uh, there anymore. And we can see like that we've added some cool three-dimensionality to the face. Um, perfect. I think let's go. Let's look at everything. So by clicking the group on and off, I can see uh, all the things I've made. All right. And let me just maybe add some more uh, brightness to the arms here and maybe here to the stomach and maybe the side of the shirt like this. Okay. Now, we, so we're going to go back to the shirt area and we are. I want to show you kind of a cool technique that's going to give the impression of a bit more fuller uh, chest for this without having to do any kind of liquefy. So um, basically you can do like this, like because we have light coming from the top, if we have more light on this top area and more shadow underneath, it's gonna give the impression of the breasts being a bit larger and fuller. So what I'm gonna do here is just a dodge. I'm gonna kind of brighten up this area on top a little bit. Then I switch to burn. And I'm going to create more of a harsher shadow underneath, especially in this middle part. Because if you think about it, like if the breasts are a bit larger, uh, the shirt's going to be stretched across uh, more. And that's going to cause a, a bigger shadow. And also, it can also, I can come here and kind of fix some of this, like, maybe I think this should be a bit darker. I can fix some of that. Uh, I can come down and try to fix some of these darkness, these dark parts that we couldn't fix uh, with the frequency separation. And maybe here, this kind of light, I was trying to even that out. So I'm going to dodge that. Okay. And create more, just a big shadow kind of across. And I'm going to lighten this up a bit because I feel like that's all right. So if we back up a bit and I show you what I've done, you see that? That's a pretty big difference. Like that's before and that's after. We haven't done any liquefaction. We haven't um, done any kind of crazy effect. We've just basically added some shadow underneath and we've brightened up um, the top and just that alone is going to give the impression that the shape is just a bit uh i don't know i don't even know the word for this the shape's just going to be a bit more appealing uh, symmetrical like artistic um however you want to probably look at it like that and you know we can always go back uh to our low frequency layer like maybe that little wrinkle bothers me so i'm going to go ahead and just try to like stamp that out um fix that little bit you know maybe that little maybe this part here and try to get rid of that little shadow yeah that way it looks like that so if we look at everything 
uh, zoom out a bit and we look at our frequency separation and dodge and burn if we select so we can do command option a to select everything except the background layer we can click off and on and you can see like those fixes i made to the shirt just kind of give a more appealing uh look i think for this kind of like kind of fashiony cool colorful dj type uh shot so that's another really cool thing you can do with dodge and burn is you can create uh, shadow and light and you can basically reshape the shape of objects which is really really cool uh, using the dirt dodge I'm gonna go back I'm just gonna go back and actually just paint brighten up some of these like this brighten up this uh, nope that's the wrong tool brush I'm gonna come and brighten up the uh, disco ball maybe brighten up the knobs and the amp uh, brighten up this is I think one of her clothing brands logo we put over the, we put the sticker over um, and just brighten up some of this stuff in the background make it pop out a bit more um, this bright white bar kind of bothers me but it kind of doesn't the background is so distracting I think it kind of fits in so I'm gonna keep that um, this amp rack these headphones or boots and you know sometimes I'll just let like it go over the whole body just a little bit just just go over everything. Just brighten up everything a tad. Maybe brighten up the floor a little bit like that. And if we look at what we've done, we've done a lot of stuff here. This was a mistake on the clone stamp tool. But um, yeah, we've done like that. And I think that adds some really cool pop. And then uh, with the burn, we just those sh just the shadow underneath the breast really kind of helped create a nice cool look for that shirt. And if we look at everything, we can see before and after, before and after. And I think pretty, was that said, we are pretty much done with this image. Um, I think it came out pretty good. Uh, we could tweak it some more, add some, you know, curves, add some hue saturation, whatever. But I think for the most part, our retouching is done. Uh, I will show you what I did to it is um, from another image I worked with, I created this kind of smoke and fog effect. I'm gonna copy that over and I'm just gonna paste that right here. And let's move, let's play around with that. And this is a kind of a smoke effect that I added to kind of give some really cool uh, atmosphere to the image. Uh, maybe in another video, I'll show you how I did that. But uh, for now, we are done. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, leave a comment, tell me what you think, things you wanna change, ideas, uh, suggestions. Uh, give a like, all that good stuff. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.